blackout. That doesn't make me think of any of this thought, but I want to have this thought. It's a, it's a thought about perspective and how that changes the, the shape in which failure occurs. Or I want to say the antecedents to a failure. And I just got to first say that, wow. This environment's much more, um, uh, what's the word called? Grainy or detailed. What's the goddamn word I want to say? Much more, ah, like when you look at something real close and there is details. So detailed? Well, that's not the word, but I guess that'll work. So, this game is... This game is 3D. I can't put the red here. Oh, I can. Okay. The the shape of the game, whether it's 3D, 2D, the environment dictates how the, the shape of, of the failure that occurs. And why that's important, I'm, I'm hypothesizing, is because in order for my research and failure to have any meaning whatsoever, is if I if is if what I do, what I discover, will help people in school deal with failure. So it has to be oh, it has to be um, applied. People have to be able to apply it. You know that's ludology. I think ludology is applied game design. I think so. It has to be has to be lud ludegic or a, a ludol ludol. And so if I can't figure out a way of, of applying it, then it's pointless to do. And currently, as it stands, well just just recognizing where the failure is, recognizing how it occurs is not as powerful as figuring out a way to help people anticipate. I'm gonna be looking for that those yellow pyramids too while I'm I don't want to replay the level. Archives. Continue my conversation here. Okay, I, I, I can I can explain this while 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 playing. I know I can do it. For example, in this game. Because of the shape of it, because it's 3D, because I, I make lots of jumping like this, failure is only going to occur in certain shape. For example, since there are no other enemies in this game, I am not going. It will be impossible for me to fail by not understanding an enemy. Also, because I have so many different directions I can jump. More than like say a 2D game. It's gonna be a, there's gonna be a higher possibility that I fell from simply misjumping, misstepping. Because because space is, has such a more powerful effect on this game. I'm going to fail by misstepping more than I would a 2D game. If you think about it in a 2D game, puzzle game, failure can only occur as far as spatially, jumping left or right. And, you're, and, you're, and you can see, you can have a much better idea of how far you, you can jump. Because you only have to worry about left or right. Well here, I, I have to focus on this all the time. My little shadow here, because I don't know. It's hard to gauge where I am in the world, because there's so many different perspectives to, to understand. Understanding that... Whoa! Right there, that failure was, I did not know that, that up until now, those things have only all opened doors for me. That was the first time where I realized that they can actually move platforms. Um, what was I saying? So by, by understanding the possible shape that failure can take in the game, I 
categorize it, the, the, the failure, better. And remember, what's the point of categorizing failure? So that to allow us to understand how to... Why do we want to categorize failure again? It allows us to do something important. Oh, come on, remember. The categorization of failure... Oh! This hopefully moves over. Oh, that's the end of the level. So by categorizing... Remember, the point of categorizing was so that the information that we, w that we learn in soft failures isn't so fleeting. So it, it actually helps us transfer the information we learned to future situations so that, so that, so that it's applicable. Whoa, this is a fucking crazy environment though. It's hard for me to like really think right now. I gotta just embrace this right now. Love the music. going to have a it's going to be preceded by information or it's going to give birth to information that is unique to this game because this this failure in this environment is going to be different from this say a game which is 2d and so it might help to first understand the, sh the shape of information that's, that can be learned according to the context in which that information is being administered that might help students, for example, in a classroom to understand what they should be looking for concerning failure and concerning information learned from the failure. If I take the categorical knowledge that I learned from a 2D game, it will not be applicable to a 3D game. Categorical knowledge I learned from a, sh from a shooter, it's not going to be applicable to a uh, RPG. Maybe. Maybe. So if I if, if the game is to figure out if I if I'm to apply this, then the most important thing I need to do is help my help people understand how to how to look for the knowledge. So obviously failure in a classroom is going to be different than failure in uh, work environment. So when you categor and when you, when you categorize failure, so that you can take that information, that categorical information, apply it to, to a different environment. You, the only way to recognize that information, especially when you, when you when you start playing with environments that are just so unfamiliar to yourself. You need to be able to just understand, in a general sense, what the shape of that what the shape of the information is going to look like, and so you can kind of understand the type of failures to expect.